Tonight's Mino Project, John Mino introduces us to a Green Bay woman whose talent and wit are still going strong, even past the century mark. It's a story you'll see only on NBC 26. Last week, we brought you the story of an amazing 87 year old artist from Door County. Well, tonight, an artist who could have babysat for that guy. When Mary D. DuPont has a birthday, her collection of cards is pretty impressive. Of course, it's not everybody who reaches 100 and still basically works. If you don't have a job, what can you do? Yes, 100 years old and still going strong, painting and selling her watercolors, something she got passionate about, oh, about 90 years ago. That was long ago. You go on up to Ephraim and places like that. And they had all kinds of boats in the water. She could talk art all day and her secrets for capturing everyday life. You can look out the window and you can see them on a bicycle, you know, and you just sketch them quick. Or if you want to talk politics, oh, she could talk politics from her least favorite. I remember we didn't like Hoover. To her favorite. I think the Roosevelt's. Mary doesn't really have any secrets to living to 100 as far as a diet. Lots of egg sandwiches. Of course, staying away from those nasty vices. Smoking or drinking, you know. But the best way to live long and flourish. Having friends is most important. Mary's still a diehard Packers fan, remembering the glory years. Before football became so important. Well, Bart Starr seemed to be popular. But her all-time favorite, a guy she still watches but thinks needs to smile more. And Rogers, he looks so kind of serious and everything. She'll be in front of her TV again this weekend watching the Packers, but does have one issue with the NFL. I wonder a little bit if the Lord approves of all the games on Sundays when they ought to go to church. We'll pass that one along to the commissioner. Mino, NBC 26.